Hello everyone, the Hamster Harry Gange Home. Welcome back to Dreams of Austria, where we last episode we absolutely decimated Stalin and we have now replaced him with Konstantin Rodzevsky. And the Russian Empire is here. Of course they are fascist. We also have Iron Wolf Lithuania, the Empire of the Thunder Cross, and Terra Marinia, well however you say that. Um we also have a thick man Chuko. Uh, Japan's doing okay over here. They're actually in India, I've just noticed. Um, we're almost ready for war. Um, you may have noticed that I said at the end of the last episode we're not going to use any of our puppets divisions, but they're just going to sit on this front. Because we're going through them down here. And you may be like, dun, 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 dun. They have this jointed government. You just need to take Paris. Yeah, but I feel like this is a very weak way to push through them. At the same time, though... I didn't think there was going to be that few of the Belgians in that chilling over there. So, I might actually change my plan. I didn't realise they were that... Because I was a bit concerned with this. Because the last time I tried to go through Belgium and they had loads of divisions, it did not go really to plan. At the same time, if I push up this way... It doesn't really matter where we push, really. I think we'll actually be able to slaughter the crap out of them if we push into themselves. We'll see what happens when we get these guys down here. I am that confident in our abilities that I'm just going to go ahead and invade France right now. Spain, come on down. And we've killed France. Oh, I thought that... Wow, oh, it did, some of it did go to Japan. Why? We aren't even at war with these guys. I'm not going to take... Oh, look. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're at war with Luxembourg. Oh, they, they've been called in. Yeah, there we go. Thank you very much, late. Okay, okay, okay. There is not many ships kicking around, so the time is now to strike. Well, we have the bloody opportunity to do so, because it's not going to be around for very long. Oh, it's gone. They're dead. Thank you. And again, Japan got land. If we can, get across there before Ireland can do anything about it. There we go. That's better. They should start pushing now. Oh, yes. Easily. Easy. Easy pickings.
They're gone. There we go. Holy hell. Right, give me a minute to just piece deal. Everybody, this is the new world that we have. Don't worry about the justification, it's just Greece doing something. Horror and fear. Oh, you're doing... Ah, hi. We buy Byzantium. I would happily give you the Turkish Empire. So, this is what the world's looking like. Uh, the co-prosperity sphere rules supreme in Africa and in Asia. There's Afghanistan, Iran, Tibet, Bhutan, Nepal, the Philippines, and Mongolia free over here in this area. As for Europe, Finland and Sweden are the only thing that is not under, well, nations rather, that are not under Austrian rule. As for America, as you can see, I gave them the corridor between Alaska and, well, Washington, the Washington state. Um, and then you got the province of Canada. There's still a war with Mexico. We, we don't really care for that. The UK has been split up into uh, Zexionist, Fascist Ireland, the Ulster, Ulster Nation, Cambria, Caledonia, and the British Empire. We have Fascist Norway with Vidkun Giesling, the Deutsch Reich with Anton Muzert, Leon de Grel is in Rexus, Belgium. National Francais with Philippe Patan, and you may be wondering why did they take French Comte from them? Well, it is an Austro Hungarian territory of the uh, rightful clay, really. I hate how Franco is not around. Francisco is obviously in Portugal still. Africa is looking very nice. In fact, I could probably have given uh, the other puppet territories to my allies. We have Imperial of Kemet. We have. Control all the territory in here. I should probably give Kurdistan all their land. Since we are allies, their uprising was successful. With the aid of me, with the aid of me, we'll go ahead and do this. I think that is all their... Oh, no. Iraq is going to be tiny. Yeah, sorry, Iraq, you kind of... I mean, left the... Uh, the Turkish Empire as well. Uh, Japan has... Uh, the new Mughal Empire, the Japanese Raj, you got the... Japanese East Indies, Central Australia, the Kiwi Empire. Um, I gave them Burma. Sam Burma. Manchukuo's obviously thick. Mongolia obviously would get killed by them. And that's pretty much it. South Africa's my puppet as well. Malin's here. Yeah, the world is... The Austrians have well and truly made a glorious empire. In fact, let's actually have a look and see how good it really is. So our faction, without the Japanese and Siam in it, this is what our faction controls. So all of Europe, all of Africa, and all of the Middle East near enough is ours. But uh, yeah, welcome back, Hirohito. You, you can come back to the faction. I don't think you're going to want to join us again, but uh, oh well. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. I certainly did enjoy playing it, and I think it's actually going to crash on us as well. So yeah, I'm going to leave that there. Great mod. If you haven't checked it out yourselves, I highly recommend it. Go and check it out. But uh, I'll be back with something new very soon. So until then, take care. Cheer bye. The now.